This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. Welcome to the uh, City Council Ordinance Committee of June 6, 2023, 6 p.m. Uh, it looks like all of us are in attendance. Um, we do not have any minutes to approve at this moment. Uh, public speak time. Uh, so if you have, would like to address the committee, just to be aware, there is going to be no other time to address the, the committee tonight. This is the only opportunity. No okay. problem. All right. Uh, we uh, don't have new business yet because our meeting is tomorrow night and we'll be getting, I think we have something coming. Um, and we do have Councillor Zarek here. Uh, Councillor Zarek is here to talk a little bit about the changes the um, city solicitor uh, put into the um, Safe and Fair Access to Legally Protected and Reproductive with Gender Affirming Healthcare Services. And our time is limited. Councilor Zarek, would you like to uh, introduce that? Yes, yeah, sure. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So basically, I, I'm assuming everyone had an opportunity to look at the solicitor's comments. Mostly it was um, some assisting in, in making you creating kind of clarifying language uh, to better reflect the intention of the ordinance. Um, so just really, so basically I took that document and basically accepted all of his wording change uh, and, and we'll then went through kind of all of his, all of his comments. So really those significant things to point out here just uh, we'll go through the two major sections so 6-23.3 i think the most salient points he made was the use of the word solely in terms of discussing um what we would be looking to limit in terms of enforcement um, as it pertains to arrests or um uh, incarceration um or extradition um I don't think this is really unlike our welcoming city ordinance and basically what we had uh, considered there. Um, because I, and so there was a exemption clause and I, and he basically had stated that he didn't really know what it meant and having reviewed it, <clears throat> it I agreed and, and basically removed that. So that's really, all and I don't didn't feel like he had any real other um, comments other than adding the word solely. Um, I think he had asked about someone who performed some form of medical service that was negligent, or um, but that's covered under other statutes in the state. And that's not really what we're talking about here. And then getting down to um, 6-23.4, the fair access to information is basically his questions for pertaining about um, what we were referring to. So in terms of consumer complaints, um, it wasn't clear as to what. And this is obviously, as we've discussed, this is redirecting people to be able to direct complaints to any process that exists in the state. Currently, there's a process through the Attorney General's office. So if someone wanted to <laughs> lodge a complaint with, regarding reproductive health care or LSPC, the, uh, the, the city would basically facilitate uh, pointing to them how to do that and make, make available that information. Um, and then he had asked, well, where would this be? And we just clarified that that would be, you know, either housed at the health department, their webpage, or some, or their designee, which could be the clerk, for instance. And that's really it. Um, you know, the rest of his comments, as you saw, were really just kind of cleaning up language, clarifying language, removing some language. Um, so I can answer any questions about that. It seems pretty clear to me. Yeah. I've, I've gone through it, reviewed it um, a couple of times since these changes were accepted and I, I find it to be just um, clearer now uh, and um, you know he, he felt comfortable with it as far as um, any sort of liability uh, and that you know basically this is just reinforcing something that we that is already being done at the state level. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I keep likening this to, I mean, obviously the welcoming, I'm sorry. Yeah. Eye contact. Eye contact. <laughs> um, you know, this is a, this. There's precedent for this with a few other things we did. I already mentioned the welcoming city ordinance. Um, a lot of the mechanisms here are also very similar to what we did with wage theft, where there wasn't necessarily local um, action, but there was local accountability and, and transparency, and then think, and then it, that that could facilitate complaints state processes um, so again this is more about creating visibility of information um, and and also ensuring protections that basically already occur on the state level um, and access to legally protected services um, so um, that, that's pretty much it okay. counselors any questions <coughs> excuse me um, no, I don't think I have any questions at this time. Yeah, same for me. Um, I mean, I, I've i felt pretty comfortable with the language for, you know, a few months now. And I think, you know, just getting the final um, stamp of approval from the, the city solicitor, to, to me, you know, kind of solidifies my support for this. So no. I think I'm good. And, and so next step is to uh, bring this to the full council, have a public hearing. Mm -hmm. And um, I would be happy to have a motion to do that. Um, so I move uh, that the um, city ordinances include chapter 6 23, safe and fair access to legally protected reproductive and gender affirming health care services uh, pending uh, full city council approval and public hearing. Second. Okay, move a motion and second any further discussion. Not all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Uh, tomorrow night I will. Uh, well, I don't think Barbara's going to be there tomorrow night. I'll talk. I'll talk yeah. to Omar about when he wants to set the hearing, um, because I think there's a lot going on in the next few meetings. Mm -hmm. So um, that's that's great. Uh, I would just say uh, tomorrow we have the public. Uh, I believe we have the public hearing for the civilian traffic control monitors. So, which I don't know if you guys noticed, but they're they've been using them, so they must have. But I think that they must have been authorized outside of the city somehow. And now, but then our chief is going to be able to do this now. So that's interesting. Uh, and we're also going to have the classification just to remind you. Um, I, I'm going to set, um, just so everybody knows, and with Brad, you know, Tom, just so you know, um, we have a joint public hearing with the planning board on June 20th. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, that's for the, um, the sign amendment for a municipal exemption. Right. Which, interestingly enough, I mean, it's on our agenda so we can talk about it. Um, I noticed in a previous public safety uh, handout that I was looking through my papers and one of the things the chief had requested was an, an LED information <laughs> So it's, you know, we're timely, we're timely. Yes. Um, so hopefully we can get that done. Um, and I don't know, uh, I think we're probably, I think we're good to probably just wait till the 20th and then set our next meeting for after that. It's, we're not loaded down here. So okay. uh, if you guys feel comfortable with that. Yeah, that's that's totally fine with me. Um, and, and we can work everybody's summer schedules into that. Yeah, I, I do think there's something coming tomorrow that uh, Councilor Gomez is submitting. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Might be, I think I submitted that. Yes, you believe you I submitted that, yes. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I think if you if we want, if we do want to meet before then, let's, you want to just take a look at schedules here? Yeah, sure. Um, because um, that means, that means I would have, we'd have to meet either probably next week, a week from sure. Turner, um, because that's, that's kind of my only day that week. I mean, that works for me. Um, okay, the 13th? Um, so, the 13th is an absolutely awful day. Oh, no. It's MMA board meeting, and I'm going to be in Kansas City for work. Oh, Kansas City, so yeah. that doesn't work. Um, and what is the rest of that week? Like, well, well, we don't. Um, Friday is when I'll be back, but you're obviously more than capable of meeting without me. If, if well, I mean, we probably could. On this particular item, you're I'm not going there. To so, myself. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, and then and for that Friday, I'm. 
head into the cave, so. Uh, we, we might just have to, uh, unless, and you said you're coming back on Friday? I mean, I'm coming back Thursday night. Yeah. I mean, uh, excuse me, uh, Thursday I'm back. Wednesday okay. night is when I'm coming back. So Thursday evening, I think technically we'll uh, have a meeting. Um, I, there's a strawberry ice cream thing at River Valley Market that I'm <laughs> looking to go to. <laughs> but do we have a meeting on the when, 15th? When is that? Uh, June 15th? No, we're the 22nd. Okay. Yeah, um, 22nd? Oh. Yeah. We are the 22nd? Yes. Okay. That wasn't a new thing. So that's really and I think there's a couple of things that might be coming to that committee as well. Uh, yeah, there definitely is. I think I, think I might have put those in too. <laughs> that's fine. We all, was take, busy. we all take turns. I was busy this week. Um, oh, jeez. So we might just have to wait until, I mean, how about the, tw oh, the 20, we have a city council meeting on the 21st, don't we? Do mm -hmm. you want to try to do it before then? Oh, um. Just to I mean, like, just, just to get a, first. A, a first read of it and to get our eyes on it? It's, I mean, yeah, I could do something. Because that. that night's free for me. How about the 21st for you? Because I think we're meeting at six on the twenty first, just to do like finan financial. That's right. Removing financial stuff. Okay. So, how how long do you think? So, like, would five thirty be fine? Yeah, I mean, we could just. I mean, I think just getting it a, a quick intro discussion. Okay. Talking about it really quick, putting it in our heads, and then set the next meeting. Okay. Um, it, it's not the most complicated issue. Okay. So, um, let's let's shoot for five thirty, um, before the the city council meeting. And I'm gonna put this on that coach. Okay. All right. So put that in for the 21st. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Okay. That's good. All right. Well, we don't have any other business, so I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So seconded. Okay. Motion to second. All of those in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. We have adjourned. This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.